Welcome to Standing for Jesus Ministries. Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise His name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. Oh, I'm so glad He died for me. And now, thanks to Him, I've been set free. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise His name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. And now, let us hear the Word of God. Standing for Jesus Ministries is brought to you in part by the following. McDowell Professional Pharmacy. Call 377-1088. Lenny Hall Income Tax and Accounting. Call 377-2633. And by Nelson Fraser Funeral Homes. With offices in Martin and Hyman. Call 285-5155. us with and we hope we can say something that would touch your heart, uplift you, and if you're lost and undone without God, might help point you towards this man called Jesus, amen, the one that we preach, one that we base our life on, amen, the one that died for us. 
And that's what we were thinking of in the message today was just simple repentance, simple. You know, we're in a world today where people want to preach all kinds of things in the pulpits and uh, want to prove doctrinal issues and stuff like that when the only thing that really matters is Jesus. People need to know about Jesus. Too many people today that don't know which way to turn because of different beliefs and different things. But I'm made to believe that when we put God first in our life and seek Him first, all these other things will follow. Brother Mikey is what the Word of God teaches me, and I believe that because He's led me every step of the way. He's led me every step, and uh, I will say, I'm going to read a couple of scriptures here. It says, but no, being made free from sin and become servants of God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And when we think about the bottom line and we think about what's coming upon us in this life is, the, the, the main thing is we're either going, we're going to leave this world. We're either going to go to heaven or we're either going to go to hell. And There's no in between. There's nothing. Listen, there's nothing worth arguing about. Listen, the word uh, Paul says that I know nothing save Christ and him crucified. In other words, he was trying to say, listen, there's nothing else we can talk about in this thing worth telling anything to the lost. You don't lost. You don't need to worry about these other things. I, you need to worry about coming to Jesus while he's still there, amen? Well, what do you mean, preacher, while he's still there? The Bible says that, listen, that there'll be coming up a time that, like it was the days of Noah, Brother Mikey, listen, that the doors were shut on that ark, if you remember the story. <laughs> listen how that God shut that door when the rains began to fall. <laughs> and people got concerned then. <laughs> Listen, it's going to be that way now. <laughs> Listen, the Bible says they were eating, drinking, marrying, giving in marriage. Listen, none of them, they cared for nothing until the floods came. <laughs> and only no one and his family were saved. <laughs> Listen, well, I want you to know the world is getting so wicked today. <laughs> well, people don't know <laughs> which way to turn. <laughs> Listen, they don't know what to believe. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, Jesus said, believe. <laughs> On the only begotten name of the Son, Jesus, the Son. Believe on God's Son. Listen, and you'll make it through one day after a while, Brother Mikey. Listen, that's all we've got. Listen, if you've got nothing else in this world and you've got Jesus, you've got it all, my friend. Because he said that he has gone to prepare a place for them that love and serve him. Listen, he said he's gone away. Listen, but he's coming back after us. One day after a while he's coming back after the church and that is found doing of the will of the Father. Listen, we was going to read the scripture here, but it says, listen, that it's not just the hearers of the word that are justified, but it's the doers of the word. It's them that hear. Listen and hold on to what the word of God is teaching them. Listen, we begin to think of some old time listen, examples Brother Mikey. Listen, we begin to think about old Daniel uh, how that he, uh, listen, went into the old lion's den. Uh, uh, listen, uh, listen, but he didn't have no fear. Uh, uh, listen, for the Bible says, uh, uh, listen, <coughs> that God closed the lion's mouth. Uh, uh, listen, and there was no harm brought to Daniel. Uh, uh, listen, you imagine. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, remember the story uh, of the three Hebrew children, uh, uh, how that they were thrown into the flames of the fire, uh, uh, that even the people... Uh, Listen, they threw them in. Huh? Oh, we're burnt up. Huh? Listen, but uh, the three Hebrew children themselves uh, uh, never had, uh, uh, listen, one thing. Uh, not one hair was scorched on them, uh, not even their clothes, uh, uh, but only the things that had them bound. Uh, uh, listen, and that's the way God works, my friend. Uh, uh, God wants to set you free, uh, uh, listen, from addictions. Uh, God wants to set you free uh, uh, from hatred. Uh, uh, God wants to set you free uh, and put you uh, uh, where you need to be, my friend. Uh, you might say, well, preacher, where do you think I need to be? Listen, you can be in the arms of Jesus tonight. Listen, you can be, listen, with the Lord. Listen, well, how can I be with the Lord? 
and still be in this earth. When Jesus went away, I listen, Brother Mikey, he said, I'll go away. He said, but he'll come again in a bodily form. But he said, even though I'll go away, I'll never leave you, never forsake you. His presence is still here, my friend. I listen, his presence is still here. I listen, he said, that if he would go away, that he would send a comforter. I listen, he sent someone. I listen, that will help you in your time of need. Now listen, he said that sweet Holy Spirit, Brother Mikey. Now listen, it lets us know when we've done wrong. Now listen, it lets us know. Now listen, when things are going to be wrong in our lives. Now listen, but it leads us and it guides us to all pastoral righteousness. I desire your prayers. <clears throat> Seems like I'm about to lose my breath. I listen, but that's all right. I listen, I know it's nothing. I listen that God can't take care of him. I listen, because God, I listen, I can do anything. I listen, I want you to understand, my friend, what's going on in your life. I listen, God stopped the fire from burning the three Hebrew children. Surely to God, God can take care of your problem. I listen, I don't care what it is. I listen, Listen, uh, people say, well, uh, uh, listen, you just don't know my situation. Uh, uh, no, I don't, my friend, uh, uh, but I've got a father. Uh, uh, listen, sitting up in heaven. Uh, uh, listen, that I've got a big brother, uh, if you want to put it that way, uh, uh, sitting beside him. Uh, uh, listen, that knows uh, our problem. Uh, I've got a father that knows your problem. Uh, uh, listen, he knows what you're going through. Uh, uh, listen, he knows everything uh, that you're going through. He knows the very thoughts uh, uh, that you were thinking right now in your home or wherever you might be listen listen to this listen he knows what's going to be facing you the very next day listen but only he is the one listen that can save you listen the Bible says no other name given under heaven where men must be saved than that of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior listen one day after a while when he splits them eastern skies and he comes back. Uh, listen, he's coming back after them. Uh, like we said a while ago, not those that just hear the word. Uh, listen, but those that do and practice uh, what it says. Uh, listen, you might say, uh, well, preacher, uh, who does? Uh, listen, uh, I hear this excuse an awful lot. Uh, listen, uh, well, I'm just as good as this man uh, or this woman. Uh, listen, I've done uh, just as good as they did. If they make it to heaven, uh, I've got no problem. Uh, listen, it seems like we preach this a lot anymore. Uh, listen, but the devil was trying to deceive people uh, with that kind of thinking. Uh, listen, they're trying to tell people, uh, listen, a lot hold on. You've got your whole life. A young person, you've got your whole life before you have to worry about joining any church. Listen, but it ain't about joining any church. It ain't about having your name written on a church log somewhere. It's about knowing Jesus as your personal Savior and having your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Listen, only God can put it there, my friend. Listen, you got to understand what I'm saying. Listen, that which is born of flesh is flesh, but that which is born of spirit is spirit. And I want you to know, listen, the Bible says that those that worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. And listen, I know I'll be on a shadow of doubt one day after a while uh, that I'm going home. And you say, Preacher, you don't know that for sure. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I know that God would never leave me. Uh, and I know uh, that as long as I hold on uh, to what he's got uh, for me uh, and what he's done for me uh, and carry that testimony, uh, uh, listen, uh, that one day uh, heaven will be my home as long as I do his will. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and not just hear it, uh, listen, uh, it wouldn't do me a bit of good uh, to stand behind this pulpit uh, and listen, try to preach you anything uh, and not pr practice it at home, amen, uh, or anywhere I go. Uh, listen, uh, I know I've failed, uh, but I've had him to pick me up. Uh, I've had the devil uh, uh, seem like knock me back a few steps, but guess what? Uh, listen, uh, he, listen, he knows uh, that he has to flee uh, oh, when God's Spirit comes on the scene, amen. Uh, listen, the Bible says to walk in the Spirit, uh, and you're not for feel the lust of the flesh. Listen, when God comes on the scene, I want you to think about this, my friend. 
Jesus, when he came on the scene, uh, uh, listen, uh, when you read the Bible, uh, when Jesus was on the scene, healings took place. Amen. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, the eyes of the blinds were opened. Uh, uh, listen, people began uh, uh, to see. Uh, uh, listen, there was a time, uh, uh, there was a man named Jarvis. Uh, uh, listen, that had a daughter that was dying. Uh, uh, listen, and he come to Jesus. Uh, uh, listen. Jesus had already uh, been done uh, uh, healing people. Uh, uh, listen, uh, going through there. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, he come to him and said, uh, uh, come to my house, my daughter will die. Uh, uh, he said, I'll come. Uh, uh, listen, on his way there. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, there was another one uh, uh, that thought she was going to get something from God. Uh, and she did uh, because she had her mind made up. Uh, uh, listen, in her mind, all she had to do I would reach out and touch uh, the garments that he was wearing. Uh, she had her mind made up with him. I can, if I could only reach out and touch uh, the garments, uh, I know I'll be made whole. Uh, uh, just the hem of his garment. Uh, uh, listen, and he's pressing uh, uh, through the crowd. Uh, uh, listen, the woman rushed up and touched the hem of his garment. Uh, and I can imagine Jesus stopping. Uh, and he looked around and he said, uh, somebody touched me. Uh, uh, listen, and they said, Lord, uh, everyone's around you, thronging you. Uh, uh, listen, you say someone touched you. He said, no, somebody has touched me, for I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. Uh, listen, well, I want you to know uh, that's how you get a hold of God. Uh, you got to have the faith. Uh, listen, when you reach out and touch him, uh, listen, uh, he'll be uh, right there uh, on the scene. Uh, you won't have to beg for errors. I don't believe that. The Bible says when you believe in your heart, uh, listen, uh, and confess him with your mouth, uh, you shall be saved. Uh, listen, and that's just the beginning uh, of a glorious journey, Mikey. Uh, listen, Brother Mikey, that's just the uh, beginning of a journey. Uh, listen, that you've set your foot on. Uh, listen, sometimes get hard. Uh, listen, but they'll never be so hard uh, that God will not uh, be there with you. You can guarantee it. Uh, listen, they'll never get so hard. Uh, listen, uh, Jesus ain't one that starts something uh, and turns back. Uh, listen, uh, mankind does that, you know that? Uh, listen, but Jesus will save you. He'll keep you. He'll put you uh, where you need to be. Uh, uh, listen, uh, he'll set you up. Uh, uh, listen, when you fall down, uh, amen, he'll lift up your head when you feel uh, uh, like you can't go on another mile. Uh, uh, listen, uh, we just got to listen to what Jesus said uh, and to grow uh, in the admonition of the Lord. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, but now he was going on to Jairus' house, Brother Mikey. Uh, uh, listen, the Bible says, says that he come to him. Uh, listen, and he told him, said, you're too late. You're too late. And she's already dead. And listen, the Bible says that he told him, he put some out of the room, he said, she's not dead, but she's only sleeping. And they begin to laugh at him. Uh, listen, uh, we're here. We know that she's dead. We can see with our own eyes. And Jesus told him, I don't only believe uh, listen, and he walked in. Uh, and listen, the Bible says that he stretched out his hand uh, and he told her to arise. Uh, uh, listen, and he handed her back. Uh, uh, listen, he told her, said, go and buy, go uh, and give her something to eat. Uh, uh, listen, uh, you realize. Uh, listen, now that body was raised from a physical dead uh, and it needed food uh, to survive after it was raised. Uh, uh, that's the way you and I am uh, as Christian people. Uh, a lost person, you give your heart to God. you got to realize that you need food to keep that soul sustained. Listen, we need to eat the word of God. Brother Mikey, listen, sometimes it hurts us because it corrects us. But that same hurt will help if we'll only listen to what it says. Amen. When I read this Bible, it tells me that I was wrong and God was right. Listen, that I was without hope and Jesus died to give me hope. Listen, and one day he's coming back after me. That's what the Word of God teaches me. That's what keeps me going. Listen, that's what I want to tell you about. Is There is an escape from whatever you have to go through. You don't have to go through a lot of stuff that you go through. Sometimes we choose to because we love darkness rather than light. Brother Mikey, the Bible says that if how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? Jesus said that he would go away. But he also said, he told us that he had to go away. Let's put it that way. But he said, I will come again. And I want you to know 
You pay attention to how things are getting in this world. It's getting down to the time. Uh, listen to where I believe any time. Uh, listen, no, I'm not trying to date nothing. I'm just telling you what the Word of God says. Uh, that it's getting down to the time that once, uh, listen, he's going to tell his son to go and get my children and bring them home. Uh, uh, listen, for the time has come uh, that judgment must begin. Uh, listen, Christian person, but judgment begins with us. Uh, uh, listen, so judgment begins with the church. Lost where you going to stand if you don't know God. Where you going to stand when you stand before God? You're either going to hear him say, welcome in, or you're going to hear him say, depart from me. That's scary, Brother Mikey. Too scary. Too scary for me. But I want you to know what then. Look at the opportunity you have today. What opportunity would you have when this comes about? When the Lord comes in the clouds, what are you going to do? My friend, it maybe it'll be too late. But the Bible says the dead in Christ will rise first. Can you imagine how glorious it would be to see your loved ones raised from the grave? Can you imagine how glorious it would be to see those listen, grandmas and grandpas that lift us a witness of Jesus. To be able to walk hand in hand with them huh? oh, one day after a while. Huh? But most of all, think how good it'll be to see Jesus, huh? the very one that stretched out his hands and allowed the old nails to be drove into a brother like huh? uh, Listen, the very one huh? uh, that said he loved us enough. Huh? Uh, listen, that he would lay down his life for a friend. Huh? Uh, that's what he calls us. Amen? Huh? He said that he calls us a friend. Huh? Uh, listen, huh? uh, but we are more than friends. Huh? Uh, the Word of God says we are joining with Jesus. I want you to know that mansion that he's gone to prepare. Listen, my friend, it's got a place for you in it if you want it. It's got a place for me. It's got a place for all those that want to go, Brother Mikey. Listen, all we got to do is say yes. Listen to the Holy Spirit that I want to live a better life. I want to live a Christian life. God, would you please forgive me of my sins. Listen, and I guarantee when that prayer comes from the heart Brother Mikey God don't turn us away listen what you know what he will do listen he'll take you in listen and he'll protect you listen but we've got a part in this too besides just repenting you understand what I'm saying listen God said we are kept by the power of God listen but too many people today are resisting the power listen they're resisting are the only thing that can save them. And that is Jesus. The precious word of God is the only thing that's going to save you. Listen, and you've got to hold on. Listen to the word of God. Hold on to Jesus. Because today is the day of salvation. I always preached it this way. If today is the day of salvation, Brother Mikey, tomorrow may be the very hour, the very day. Listen, that we hear the trumpet sound. Listen, and then all of it's going to be cut loose. My friend, listen, we read of a man. Listen, that a lot of people are going to listen to. Rise up one day after a while. And he said he's going to sit in the temple as God. And these people are going to believe that. You know why? Because they wasn't ready to go. They wasn't ready. When Jesus calls them, listen, I want you to know, as it was the days of Noah, like we said a while ago, listen in that book. It says that man, God's spirit will not always strive with man. And you realize that's true for us today, too. Listen, Noah built the ark. Listen, I believe... If I'm not mistaken, I got my numbers correct. In about 120 years, I listen, then the floods came upon the earth. I listen, we've got no promise of drawing the next breath. But if God allows us to draw another breath, it's a blessing to you. It's a chance to repent. It's a chance to call upon an almighty God before it's too late. Amen. Listen, I'm hoping this message is hitting somebody. Uh, listen, I'm hoping that some lost uh, somewhere uh, is saying I'm tired of the life that I'm living. Uh, listen, I want to know you, Jesus.
Uh, that's all you've got to do. Uh, listen, you don't have to go through any rituals. Uh, you don't have to go up to an old church or somewhere and sign your name somewhere uh, to make you something. Uh, you only have to talk to Jesus uh, and ask him to forgive you. Uh, and he says, I will come in and sup with you. Uh, and him, uh, uh, listen, he'll come in uh, and he'll take uh, and throw your sins as far as the east is to the west. Now that's what the word says. Uh, listen, in other words, uh, to never be brought before you again, Brother Mikey. Uh, I remember when I gave my heart to the Lord. Uh, uh, listen, I felt like uh, I've never felt before in my life. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, but I want you to know uh, I learned real quick. Uh, uh, the old devil would come along uh, and he'd try to convince me I wasn't saved. Uh, he would try to tell me that these things uh, are going on. Uh, uh, listen, but as I learned just a little more, uh, I come to realize. Uh, uh, that all I had to do uh, uh, was to use the name of Jesus uh, and Satan had to flee. Amen. You want to be saved and nothing can stop you but you. Listen, today is the day of salvation. Why would you want to take a chance on leaving this world not knowing? A lot of people say, well, I'll wait until I'm older. Young person, you may never make it to be older. Look at the graves today. Look around and listen to all the people that are dying young today. Everywhere you look anymore, there's funerals. And most of them seem to be people under 30 years old. A lot of them in their teens. Because somebody thought it was fun to keep taking chances on drugs. Because somebody thinks it was cool to get high. Somebody thinks it's cool to get out and steal God. But listen. Make no mistake about it, my friend. God said we will reap what we sow. How do you get rid of it? Turn it over to Jesus. I promise you, if you want it, if you want it, you'll not be this you'll not be dissatisfied. I've heard him preach so many times. Try the Lord. If you don't like it, the devil will take you back. That's true. But I'll put it this way. Try the Lord. I've got loved ones there that I want to see so bad. But that's not the reason I want to go. I want to go and see Jesus. First of all, because he's the one who made it more possible for me to go. I hope and pray that you pray that sinner's prayer. Just ask God to come into your life. And listen, keep praying for the program. And I hope and pray that we're a blessing to you. I tell you what, it's a blessing recording them. Sometimes I just feel like, Lord, I can't take some more sometimes when I'm in the pulpit of the Spirit. But you know something? It gets sweeter and sweeter. One day after a while, it's going to be worth it all. We get to walk through heaven. Keep praying for the program. And always remember that we uh, need your prayers and that there is a number on the screen. Send in your prayer request. Because we do believe in the power of prayer, and we try to pray over those requests every program. We thank you, and God bless you. Take down my face like a